It's called kicking the dog. When someone comes down hard on you, you take it out on someone else or you kick the dog. But an American CEO visiting Vancouver has found out the hard way that when you really kick a dog, the whole world comes down hard on you. Shirley Engel reports. It's hard to watch, even harder to understand. A CEO kicking a young defenseless Doberman pincher named Sade. At one point pulling her leash so hard, she's lifted off the floor. The dog is now okay in the care of animal welfare. It's disgraceful. The video was captured in late July at this swanky Vancouver condo building. An employee sent it to the SPCA, prompting an investigation. Now it's online for all to see. I don't understand how anyone can do such a thing to poor, a poor defenseless little puppy. The man in the video is Des Haig, CEO of Centerplate. We want to make this the best fan experience. A multi-billion dollar sports catering company that supplies BC Place and many U.S. facilities. It's facing backlash from some fans. Beating a dog is, and then to support his business is, uh, wouldn't go one and two. It just, it revolts me. Calls for a boycott, despite the company's response. We do not condone, nor can we overlook the mistreatment of animals and Mr. Haig's personal misconduct. He'll be placed on indefinite probation, stating that any further acts of misconduct would result in immediate termination. Centerplate launched an internal review and says Haig will attend counseling for anger management, serve 1,000 hours of community service, and donate $100,000 to a new foundation to support the protection of animals. For his part, Haig issued a personal apology to Global News saying a, quote, minor frustration with a friend's pet caused him to lose control. This incident is completely and utterly out of character, and I am ashamed and deeply embarrassed. I acted inappropriately, and I am deeply sorry for that, and I'm very grateful that no harm was caused to the animal. At this point, no charges have been laid. That will be up to the Crown. But some say the province has a poor track record in animal cruelty cases. Most times, I do believe it's a slap on the wrist. There isn't a deterrent. With way more than just Haig's personal reputation at stake, many hope this time will be different. Shirley Engel, Global News.